Hi everyone, my name is Edgar Silva. I'm gonna show you right now a little demonstration of how you can extend the JBoss ESB providers in order to create new gateways, which will be possible to accept uh, different events from different protocols. In that case, in particular, we, we will be working with XMPP protocol. So let's start it. First of all, I have a very basic uh, JBoss ESB project, and uh, what I have here is a Java class that's my uh, X XMPP listener, which is a class that implements a scheduled event listener. And basically, I must implement the methods initialize and uninitialize, right? Basically, what I'm doing here on initialize method, it's uh, start my connection with my XMPP provider. That in that case, I'm using the OpenFire solution. OpenFire it's a kind of a XMPP uh, server, the Jabber server that you can have in your company. In order to offer a um, uh, stand message and the chat and uh, many other features for your users so I created here my private XMPP server so I have this running on my machine and I have a two contacts two buddies online right now one of them it's here on my pidging it's my uh, send message software right it's uh, Edgar and João. It's a buddy that's running inside my JBoss ESP. So the objective here is it's every message that I send through this my chat window will be processed inside my JBoss ESP. So let's so let, let's see what we are doing internally now. So continuing uh, the understanding of our class. I start establish my connection with my buddy, right? And then I have a listener that's a packed listener. That this listener it's when a message comes from my chat window, right? And then I have a very uh, easy listener that's based on its Mac API. That it's a uh, an API or oh, open source as well and uh, basically what I'm doing here is just waiting for any message that comes from my chat window the string that I receive I transform basically it's read as a message from a Mac API but I convert this message right into a ESP message right since I converted the message from is Mac to ESP message. I'm creating a component service invoker to deliver a message for a service called Jabber from category CBR. So I created the message using the content that uh, with the strings that I received through this Mac API. I add this message in the body of my message object, and then I use my service invoker to deliver a sync, a sync, a synchronously this message. Right, and if you look at my JBoss ESP XML file, basically what I have, it's basically um, my first service is the buddy service that's a Chrome schedule listener, and the event processor it's my XMPP listener, the class that I already showed to you. And I have no actions because everything that I must that I, I need is already done inside my listeners and my uh, initialize and the uninitialize methods in my XMPP provided, which is a, a Chrome um, provider. And uh, following the Chrome expression, I can understand that. Once my JBoss SP is running up, my listener will be able to receive any message, right? 
Well, the second service is the Jabber, which has the following actions. The first one is the action that transform a CSV format message to a canonical CSV is using Smooks. The second ma the second action I basically print the result of the that transformation. The third action is transform to XML that basically gets the canonical XML format and transform it to a plain XML. And the last one basically just show the result of my plan XML. Everything that I'm doing here, it, everything is done using smokes. So the first step of my transformation, so I'm waiting for a CSV uh, source and that I'm waiting for two fields that is part of my transaction. And uh, using the value I can I can result into a canonical CSV and that canonical I can transform in a plain XML using style sheets transformation and basically using XML stuff right and uh, the last phase of my transformation I can even transform my XM, my plain XML into a Java bean that basically I gather the value from the tags from my XML and I can fill uh, with a property from my bean or pose whatever you want you like to call this this object in Java, right? And uh, I get uh, the this information from my uh, XML transaction trans transaction here, transaction here, and the the tag number. Then here in that case, I'm using push keys just for I made this push keys from demonstration in Brazil, right? Well, so let's see this example working in action. So here. I have my ESB running and I have my PGGIN that could be Google Talk or any other uh, XMPP and uh, send message software and I have a um, semantic to use my transaction so as far as I'm using CSV imagine that I have a, a transaction ID for identifying my transaction I have the value of my transaction so I use the, this value once I press enter, ESB receive that information, process this information. So in, at, at this moment, I have this back receiving the message, and then I will forward this message to my service that it's running inside my ESB. And then I can see the result of my first transformation from CSV to canonical XML. And the last one, I can see the plain XML that I can I'll be able to do whatever I want with this data right well in this simple demonstration you you saw how you can extend your gateways in JBoss SP I recommend you take a look on JBoss week about extending JBoss SP providers that there, there are a lot, a lot of a very nice documentation and uh, Tom finally contributed with a very is a document for understanding how you can create a new provider for ESP. I hope you have liked this uh, this tutorial. Thank you for your time, and I hope to see you again. Bye.